Actually, Mr. Nolan, I keep these records buried as deeply as I can. I uh, think you'll understand when you see them. Sounds fascinating, Warden. That's probably just the boy's imagination. But his letter to me was certainly very persuasive. Is this he? Yes. Uh, from his psychological examination, he appears as stable as any 18-year-old, except for stealing an automobile. Now, this is a transcript of what he says happened. May I see that? Of course. Thank you. Mr. Nolan, a prison warden has got to be an absolute realist, but, uh, Yes? But something happened. Something... Something psychic. That's what you're looking for? I don't know. got there. Anybody see you sneak that deadly weapon in here? That punk. A toothpick. Hey, what you do? You give yourself manicure? You got big date later maybe tonight? Is everybody a comedian? Hey, Folger, tell him, huh? Uh, before here, how I was out there, a big wheel, operator. You heard him? On private barber, two dozen pairs of shoes in the closet. Twenty-six pairs. Real alligator. Fine English leather, custom made. Hey, shoes. Now, there's something my old lady was always fussing about. Make sure you get the right size. Gotta keep your feet dry. Yeah. You should have heard my old lady carry on. Yeah, but 10 or 15 years ago, you should have seen me. Real class. You tell them, Abe. A fashion plate. Yeah, but you're nothing now, Abe. Nothing. A gypsy tired of being nothing. A gypsy lock up. A gypsy who like more than anybody else to roam. It's no good for a gypsy. It's better to be dead. You don't have to be a gypsy. You want to be free. So maybe you got enough of this jail, huh? I like the sound of rain. The rain on the face. Walking through the wet fields. Traveling. The sound of the rain on the caravan. You had a caravan for real, huh, Gypsy? Oh, you bad. When I was a little kid. My mama. My papa. My four brothers. From winter, we all sleep inside the caravan. All of you, huh? The whole family together. Oh, come summer nights. Starry nights. I'll kill you. I'll get no spear. I'll kill you! <laughs> a big tough guy. Hitting a picture of a broad in the water. Yeah, you kill me. Easy, Paul. Easy. 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 Enough. he did the stick up for. He gets sent up and she runs off with the bread. There ain't nothing worth it. Nothing in this whole lousy world worth being locked up for. Everybody's for himself. How long you figure Folger's gonna be in the sweat box this time? As long as they want to keep him. Who needs him? We can get out of here without him. You gonna tell him? You gonna let him in on it? Shut up, will you? What's going on? It's a break, right? 
You're planning a break. When? Listen, you guys, anybody gets out of here, I'm getting with them. You don't leave me behind. I'll take Folger's place, right, Gypsy? You're no go. What do you mean, I no go? Why? Because I say so. That's why. We'll see. Just let you out of the sweat drop, huh, Folger? Yeah. See it in the cell. I can't wait. Hey, Gypsy. That's good, huh? They let Folger out. So? So now he goes, too. The four of us. Friday, when we make the break. No four of us. Three. I told you, I'm going, too. No four of us. When the time comes, it's every man for himself. Eight hey, for eight, Folger for Folger, and Gypsy for Gypsy. Yeah, a knee for me. Me for me. Nobody invite you along. Nobody wants you. You're not a man. You punk. You mama's boy. Come on, Come on, boy. Hey, guys, you see that? He tried to kill Gypsy. Punk, punk. <laughs> you're going to stay here. You're going to have to get your throw in the sweat box to make sure you don't get out. You're Hey, God! He killed Gypsy! Hurry up, I hold him for you, guys! What's going on here? I hold him for you, guys. He's trying to kill Gypsy. I think he'll go out of his head. Get on your feet. I killed him, I said, get up! Okay. Get easy. Don't run. Just walk natural.
Help yourself, sister. I help me. Stinking dogs. Better get with a bullet any time. We should have waited till Friday like we planned with, with the truck. We are knocked out of it. I tell you, it's abscessed. It's got to be abscessed at a time like Hey, listen. Hmm? Sounds like the hounds lost it, huh? When the water come between us and them, they lose the scent. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, if my old lady could see me now. You won't believe this, but it's a fact. You know the first thing that come to her mind? No. What is the first thing that come to her mind? That boy is going to catch his death of cold. <laughs> so help me. Yep. That's the first thing she'd think of, all right. Yeah. Wonder what made me think of her. Hey, 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 listen. Get back in here, fellas. We've hit the jackpot. It's a truck. You don't make the truck. What are you talking about? You don't make the truck. What's the matter with you? You you were all right till now. Come on, we can't stop now. They got a truck. Kid, don't go. What do you mean, don't go? Come on, get up. No. Are you going to move, Gypsy? Drag him up there. Okay. Get. Let go of me. Don't leave, Gypsy. You're forgetting something. Folger for Folger, ape for ape. Yeah, you remember? You for you, and me for me. See you later, Gypsy. Get it, kid! Where's the gypsy? He's got a hole in his back. Looks like he read those cards right after all. What do you mean? What are you talking about? I asked him in the cell that night when he counted you out. Just for the devil of it, I said, what did the cards tell gypsy? He gives me a look. Three guys are going on a long journey. Three only. Come on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'll get the gypsy. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, wait a minute. I'll get the gypsy. Ah. Kid. You come back, huh? Yeah. I must have something wrong with my head ditching that truck and coming back here for you. Sure. You hurt bad, huh? I think maybe I catch the apes with two take. In here. You got a bullet in your chest? No. In this soul. In the gypsy soul. You'll be okay, Gypsy. And let me rest for a minute. You won't die. You're strong and tough like me, huh? Something will happen. I don't know what, but something will happen. Don't be sorry, kid. When they give Gypsy a life sentence, it's a big lie. 
No life. But death. It's like the skylock trapped in the cage. See his feathers molt. See no sing no more. See he falls sick on the floor of the cage. In one eye stare up like a dry razor. No good for the skylock. It's better like this. What happened to the gypsy has already happened. But with you is different. You still got the choice. I've no choice, gypsy. Hey, there's a ditch up there in a the sewer pipe. Come on, I'll take you there. We'll hide. No, no. no. We'll no, hide bitch. in. No, no. Gypsy, Gypsy, not die in sewer pipe. Gypsy, die on hilltop under the tree. There ain't no hilltop, no tree, Gypsy. Come on. Oh, fine. Hilltop with little grass or up trunk, maybe. And, and the wildflowers. And the birds singing in the branches. Come on. We find that. You help, Gypsy. You'll be okay, Gypsy. Geary's not far. We'll get another truck. Your mama's in Geary. My mama? You want to know something, Gypsy? My old lady, the one I kept talking about that was fussing to keep my feet dry. The one I kept making out gave me a pain in the neck. Well, I made her up. I borrowed her. You see, some people my old man left me with once. He was always leaving me one place or another. See, my old man was kind of a drunk. Anyway, this place, there was a kid about my own age. And his old lady, she was kind of fat and sloppy. But she sure made out over that kid. It used to make me sick to watch it. Sick of me. Kind of lonely way down inside. I can't hardly explain it. You explain it pretty good. I don't know. I guess I can't help it. It's just some kind of way I am inside. I've always wanted to belong to something. A gang. Anything. The four of us, you say to me. Yeah. Except it's nuts. Doesn't no matter what they say, everybody's for himself. Yeah, Folgers girl. Now, flunkies that used to hang around Ape when he was a wheel. Everybody looks out for himself. Except that fat lady and her kid. What I mean... Until what you tried to do for me. Skylark, you okay? Skylark, that's me. But you know, wild bird on the wing. You young man, you still got the choice. Run some, get caught some more. Run some more, get caught some more. Over and over, the same thing, or... I'll go back like a man. Go up to that fence and say, hey, his kid come back to take his medicine. Eighteen months, eighteen months. That not so long. You're tough. You can take because you know crazy wild bird kids. You young men. You're going to get your second chance. You're be... Papa, you're going to work hard. Be good. Have many fine sons. 
And the mamas gonna keep their feet dry. See the equals. All this for you. The whole sweet world. Gypsy, you don't have to die. I'll take you up to your hill and your tree, and you can sing like a skylark. Hey. Hey, Gypsy. I got you here, Gypsy. You're on your hill. You did for me, Jesse. Now I'm doing for you. I thought it was a mirage. Tell me something, boy. What made you come back? The gypsy? I buried him up there on a hill under some leaves. That's the way he wanted it. Like I say, me coming back, that was his idea, too. <laughs> oh, kid. <laughs> What's so funny? Nothing. Nothing at all. Except it's about the smartest thing you've ever done. What's this gag about the gypsy? Now, let me have the warden, please. It's no gag. He talked me into coming back. Oh, kid, he didn't talk anybody into anything. He never made it over the fence. Now, that's a lie. He's in the morgue with a nice clean hole through his heart. Cold, stiff, dead. Yeah, warden. This is Peterson at the gate. Yes, sir. I have a surprise for you, sir. That's quite a story. I suppose that's all it is, just a story. Apparently, the gypsy's cards were right, however. Three to make a long journey. Three only. Gypsy never made it over the wall. And the boy in his letter to me said the other two were killed when their truck smashed into a bridge. Yes. But surely that could be coincidence. Yes, it could be. But what about the rest? What about the gypsy? What about Gypsy being with the boy hours after he was dead? Now, is that just a figment of the boy's vivid imagination? Who knows? What do you mean? Warden, all the truths about your inmates are not necessarily recorded in those files. Warden speaking. Something made the boy come back. 